most of the time, it sounds like a ringing, a hissing, a buzzing, a roaring, kind of a continuous sound. But it can, it can have crackles, it can have uh, buzzing, it can have a lot of different sounds that, that don't necessarily mean anything from a clinical standpoint, but, but still uh, there's this kind of ongoing perception of sound, even when there's no sound around you, there's no sound going into the ear. Well, tinnitus is a phantom sound, not a real sound. There's no acoustic energy in tinnitus. It's a phantom sound, usually heard in the ears. However, if you happen to have two signals, one from each side, that are exactly balanced, that are in phase, you won't hear it in the ear, you hear it in the head. Our best understanding is that, that some form of damage either to the ear, probably to the, the sensory cells in the ear called hair cells. They're tiny, thousands of tiny sensors that change mechanical vibrations, which is sound, into electrical signals that transfer to the brain. If those are damaged, they, they send an error signal up the nerve. Uh, or if the nerve itself is damaged. Uh, and, and those signals go to the hearing part of the brain. And once they get there, that part of the brain doesn't know what to do with them. So it says, oh, uh, there's a sound, there's ringing. And, and probably the closest parallel that I can think of that other people might understand is phantom limb pain. <laughs>